<laughs> it's you. It's really you. All right. Nadia, cancel the whole evacuation. I don't care what's coming for us. We have got nothing to worry about. <laughs> He's wonderful at introductions, isn't he? I'm Nadia Gurel. You were the Battlemaster, weren't you? Back before Zakul invaded? Yes, that's right. And, of course, the only woman who could ever make an honest man out of me. Ugh, crushed me as easily as a Sith Lord, though much more pleasantly. You always did know just the wrong thing to say. No, I want you to do the talking. It's been so long. How did you survive that explosion? What have you been doing? Doc, I'm, I'm sorry to break this up, but we really need to get these ships ready to go. So you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. I'll speak with Master Nostral. Do you know where I can find him? A guest looking for me. What a strange day this has been. I'll be with you in just a moment. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Do you know who this is? Hero of Tython, Slayer of the Emperor? Ring any bells? I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor once and for all. I've come to help. Well, sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. I am quite familiar with your past service to the Jedi Commander, and I look forward to updating my journals with your more recent exploits. And of course, the only woman who could ever make an honest man out of me. Ugh, crushed me as easily as a Sith Lord, though much more pleasantly. Yes, well, you said you were evacuating. So, you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. Save the whining for later, Doc. Take me to Nostaral. Now. I'll be happy to oblige you in just a moment. Of course, the only woman who could ever make an honest man out of me. Ugh, crushed me as easily as a Sith Lord, though much more pleasantly. Shut up and kiss me. Stars, it's really you. Ah, I miss you so much. We were so afraid everyone was sure that you would... that you didn't make it. Doc, I'm, I'm sorry to break this up, but we really need to get these ships ready to go. So you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. How exactly did you get mixed up in all this? I got split up from Kira and Scourge. Long story. So I went to find other Jedi. Seemed like the best odds of catching up with them. Or you, eventually. I heard about the colony after it was already built, so I was a latecomer. But they were happy to have a full-time doctor on staff. Well, that was before we got to know him. Dr. Kimball, Nadia. How go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Do you know who this is? Hero of Tython, Slayer of the Emperor? Ring any bells? I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor once and for all. I've come to help. Sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. I am quite familiar with your past service to the Jedi Commander, and I look forward to updating my journals with your more recent exploits. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. 
I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer. But until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. You don't seem convinced that help is on the way. You don't think the Republic will come? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Could I bring Doc along as well? We make a great team. Tau, what do you think? Sensors aren't picking up a major push. Could even be a feint, so we shouldn't overcommit. Either way, sending the two of us is overkill already. Doc and Nadia should help cover the farming crews. We'll leave you to it then. May the Force be with you. We are gonna catch up when this is all over, Gorgeous. Believe it. I promise.